opening day baseball on the show. It's the Louisville Bats taking on the Columbus Clippers. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. All right, ready to go here. And starting in this one, Chris Sandoval. He's a guy that's going to come right after hitters. I mean, he's not trying to fool him. He's going to pitch the contacts, not worry about it. He trusts his defense behind him. And he's not going to mess around with a whole bunch of different offerings. Only three pitches in the repertoire. So he knows he'll have to work in all three effectively and probably pitch backwards sometimes just to make sure this lineup isn't picking up on too many patterns. A one down. Center field. Paquez pulls it down, and there's two down. That is good. The first base. Emmanuel Paquez, the next to hit. That is third. In there, and it's 0-1. Swings through that one for strike two. This guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. Way inside, gets out of the way. Out towards right center field. Sierra glides to his left, makes the grab, and that is that. First frame of the night behind us, and it's nothing, nothing. So digging in, Magnuri Sierra. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. Left hand hitter waits. High fly ball out to center field. Can't get there. Base hit. And they hold the runner at third, but the bases are loaded now with one out. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Here's Albert Almora Jr. Oh for one with a fly out. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Paquez brings it in. Runner tagging from third. Lay at the plate. Not in time. He's safe. It's 1-1. One, one. Oh, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. One gone runner at first. And now the center fielder, Emmanuel Paquez. Slice to right. Could be extra bases. Lead runner holds at third, so two runners in scoring position and just one out. Oh, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. John Kenzie Noel now at the plate. The pitch. Got him! Huge strikeout there. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher has to step up and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two-out at bat coming up now. 
Here's Josh Van Meter. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Swing and a miss, struck him out. That's the inning. Three innings complete, all tied 1-1. Next to hit, Emmanuel Paquez, one for two. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. On the ground to the left, McLean gloves it. Off balance out. throw in time. And that's the third out. We're through five, all tied 1-1. One, one. And now, Jose Barrero. The batter number two, second baseman, Jose Barrero. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Jaquez in position. And that ends the inning. Midway in inning number seven. And it's time to stretch. All tied 1-1. One, one. Two on, one out. Here's the center fielder, Emmanuel Jaquez. Well, both sides equally as strong. So not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. Ball First one. pitch doesn't find the zone. Count Here's the sack fly situation and he's got to make sure he gets the ball out over the plate and get those arms extended. They're trying to crowd him with the infield in. It's Let's be a big pickoff if he can push a run across. All right, one time, right here. Late swing, fouled off. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Number 61 on third. Number 28 over at second with one down. Hey, get a good one up there, huh? And down on strikes he goes. Now two out. Oh, that's a huge strikeout right there. Big second out. Infield was in. They were playing the full court press, and he got the swing and miss. Keeps this one tied. This next at bat should be a lot of fun. The odds of wiggling out of this just went up considerably. Well, his first save of the season is in the books, and that was a nice job of him coming in the game and closing it out. He's off and running now. 3-2 the final score for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.